I want to talk about CAP 106 plans today. This, this one is hot right off the press. I just picked it up, um, getting ready to deliver it to the landowners. Um, what this is, is uh, CAP stands uh, for Conservation Activity Plan and 106 is Forest Management. So this is funded through the NRCS. If you want one of these for your property, you can contact your NRCS office. And of course, you want to tell them that you want Steve and Chilco to do it. Um, and they will pay me to write a plan for your property. In the, pro in the plan, uh, first thing I do is, is take a look at the property and separate it into stands and map it out. Okay, so here's your uh, particular for this property, seven stands. And I delineate those based on site, quality, what's growing there, and how we want to manage that stand for the next 10 years. It's a 10 year program. Um, the next thing I do is describe each stand, measure the timber that's there, what the resource concerns are, and then write a prescription on how to improve that stand. Now, in this plan, we have several different activities that we're going to do, and these can all be funded through the NRCS, and this is the cost share funding over here. And as you can see, that this is per acre, so there's some pretty good money available for you to do projects on your property. They're very expensive and might not be feasible for you to do yourself. Um, and stand one, for instance, uh, this is the high priority stand. I put that first. This is by priority, and we're going to do um, some basal treatment of striped maple and beech. We're going to do an eight-foot deer deer-proof fence. We're going to do a shelter wood cut and herbaceous weed control, which is going to be ferns. We're going to take care of those ferns, do get all our um, herbicide work done, and then put up a fence and do some harvesting. Not necessarily in that order, but um, that's the plan. And each one of those activities has its own cost share amount and separate project. So um, as you can see, you can build up quite a bit of per acre um, help from the government to do a project on your property. Now that stand one is going to be really nice in a few years. We're going to thicken that up, regenerate a lot of oak, try to get sugar maple and cherry into the stand and high quality oaks so that we can in the future you know, it's not for this generation, but for the next generation and beyond, we're going to have some really high quality, very valuable timber there and increase the carrying capacity of the land for deer, turkeys, and other game. Um, some of the other projects that can be funded is um, TSI work on the other stands. We're going to plant, um, I'm going to try to get American chestnut back into this property. Uh, there's going to be two fences, planting, herbicide work, TSI work. Um, and then we're going to do some edge effect around the, the old field and put forage in the field. So there's a lot to be done here. Uh, it's a 10-year plan. And then after 10 years, you can rewrite another one. But there's a ton of funding there, and we can get a lot of government help to uh, – do projects on your property. So if you want one, I'm going to put uh, uh, some informational um, contact down in the bottom here in the comment section. And if you want to look into this for yourself, uh, give me a call and I can talk to you about it or send me an email and we'll get together. Okay. So signing off, I'm going to go spend time with my grandson today on Saturday. And if I can find my mouse. There we go. All right. Like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Let me know what you want to talk about. If you, if you want me to make a video about any particular subject on wildlife management or forestry, please let me know and I'll try to make one for you. Okay. And I'll answer any questions you have as well. All right. Well, you guys have a good weekend and I'll talk to you later.